Right now, uh, we are talking all about body language. Uh, there are a lot of more and more social events starting to fill up the calendar. Some people are going back into the office and a lot of people are sitting in between a bit confused as to what to do. So helping us through all of it, body language expert Mark Bowden is here with tips to exuding the confidence for any occasion. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning, Melanie. Thanks for having me around. Thank you so much for joining. I immediately sat up as we were talking about body. body. I did that because I thought right away you think that you need to do that. But besides the point, masking. The last year and a half, everyone has been looking like this, right? And you'd think that eye contact has been key. But you say it's actually been the opposite? Well, yeah, I think what has happened is what I've noticed, what other experts have noticed as well, is there's a slight embarrassment, social embarrassment around covering up and feeling a little more protected, a little more hidden as well. And what we noticed was is people gave less eye contact while masked up. They didn't create more in order to compensate. So what I think we want to be doing, now masks are coming off, now we're hopefully getting back into the office, back into social situations, is really concentrate on giving just that little bit more eye contact with people, just like I'm doing right now, straight down the camera with you right now. You got it through the screen. Uh, a lot of coworkers are going to actually be meeting one another for the first time because maybe they were hired throughout the pandemic and it's kind of a strange interaction right because you've only been interacting through those screens so what would you say to people heading back to the office and what they should be doing with their bodies to say hey uh, i want to have that conversation i'm ready to collaborate Absolutely. Look, we make up our mind about people within a few microns of a second whenever we meet them, OK? And so when we are in the office, we want to make sure that we show them more of everything so they can have a bigger and better judgment around them. So, so show them more of yourself, just like I'm doing with you now, showing you more of my body, more gestures, rather than closing up. So you want to have more open and maybe just that little bit more and bigger body language and you want to take up just that little bit more space now i'm not talking about that idea of kind of man spreading there no. you know regardless of who you are i want you to think about pushing into the space just a little bit more it can be about just putting your mug of coffee a little bit further away from you out front of you so that when you go to pick it up you take up just that little more space people who take up just that little bit more space are seen as more confident. I see. Okay. It's very easy for a lot of people, including myself, to, to sort of sit, stand awkwardly. A lot of people don't know what to do, say, with their hands. You'll always notice I'm always holding something because that's my safety. Uh, but when I don't have that, I don't know where to go. So how do you not be awkward, I guess, is the simple question. Well, I'll show you what really looks awkward at work or in social situations is when we just let our hands hang down by our side mm. like this, you know, and we just don't know what to do with them. So what I want you to do is think about when you're in work situations or social situations, just bring your hands up to your navel area. You can just interlace your fingers and you'll notice that I most likely look a little bit more confident, calm and assertive here than I do if I'm here. In fact, what can often happen is when our hands go right down by our sides, we get into this kind of rest and sleepy yes. state and we look a little bit subdued. We do. So get your hands up. Get your hands up. Okay. How about this? If you want to get your hands up and give someone a big hug, there's an awkward situation there because some people are ready for that and some people are not. So how do you show the person on the receiving end or if you're the one that wants to give the hug, how do you communicate that on where you're at comfort level? Well, look, first of all, we've got the opportunity to think about this and talk about this a little bit of ahead of time. So I might be able to say to you via email or via, via Zoom or whatever platform, hey, I know we're going to be meeting live in person. I'm a bit of a hugger. I'm back to hugging. So how do you feel about that? So we can talk about it ahead of time. But if we can't do that, again, just be more certain, bigger with your body language so they know what you're indicating to them. This is a good good indicator of I'm here for a hug like this not so much not so, so much. just okay. make the indicators bigger all right Mark I would give you one of these if I saw you in person but where can we reach you if someone wants to reach out to you 
Well, just put Mark Bowden into the internet and up I'll come. You'll find me all over the internet on YouTube and you'll find me on my YouTube show with my friends, The Behaviour Panel. So get yourself over to there as well. Good stuff, Mark. As always, uh, nice. Appreciate your time. I will take up this space and we'll be back after the break. <laughs> 